than to everyone else. I was a bit more of a maverick, but I was very dedicated. As a kid, I used to want to play for Wigan, but I think I was a bit held back at Wigan when I was there because I was quite a, a maverick who would just come up with the players. Uh, and if it didn't come off, I got kind of told off a little bit off the coach staff and the you know the hierarchy and the players. And Wigan sold me for eighty thousand, I think it was, plus me for a prop called the answer. And then I was a witness for about eight weeks, and then within eight weeks, I heard. You know, a few weeks that I used St. Helens were coming watching me to, you know, sign me. So he put a bit more effort in when St. Helens were coming watching you. So yeah, I must have done okay and, you know, I signed for St. Helens and I used to love the atmosphere. There was no pecking order, you know, you, you did have to earn your stripes, but they were, they were a good set of lads. 99, I was having a really good season and put my AC on my shoulder and they said your season done, you go away. So I went on holiday with my mates and I come back and I, after a couple of weeks, I, I, my AC was like grade three, he's still like now. And he said to me, like, your season done. But when I come back off holiday, I felt good. So I went to Ellery Anley, who's the coach at the time, and went, well, we've got Castleford in the semi final. I'll put you on the bench, see how it's going. So we was losing. And he brought me off the bench in the second half. I scored two tries and then he brought me back off. We got to the grand final. I played Bradford. And again, I started on the bench because he wanted to take the fizz out of the game. So I came off the bench, uh, kicked a goal. We set up a try, we scored in the corner and I kicked one from the sideline to, to win the game. 8-6 against Bradford. One of my favourites as well as 2002, the drop goal in the last minute against Bradford. We had Paul Newlove, Tom Martin, Chris Joy, Kevin Iro. You know, I played alongside all lads and a decent pack as well in Vila and uh, Apollo Perellini. And then they had Kieran, who was my age at school. We, we came through together and then Paul Schoolthorpe. So we, they had a real good balance of experience. And it was pretty much the, the key positions, you know, the nine, six, seven, one, 13. You know, there was all young kids. And I think that's, key to success really is getting that crew coming through together as you know in the pivotal positions which we had a lot of joy in that. Long with the drop goal attempt, it's on its way, he's won it! I think Ian Millward was really good for me as a person, as a coach, growing up as a, you know, coming through as a half-back as a kid. He would like say, yeah, you're down by a point and there's four minutes left and etc, etc. And obviously, one of the scenarios was like, you're down by, you know, two points and you need to try, then there's 30 seconds on or one minute left to go. And you just play it hot. Long, kicks it wide to Iro. Iro to Hall. Hall is trapped, back it goes. To Hoppy, over the shoulder to Hall. There is Yonkers. Here is Long. And Long fancies it. Long fancies it. It's wide to West. It's wide to West. Dwayne West. Inside to Joint. 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 Oh! Oh! Yeah, it's probably the best try I've ever been involved in. I got a bit excited and the mascot dove on on the players and uh, so I just dove on the mask and took his head off. Well I was quite shocked actually, he was an old bloke, I was expecting someone a bit younger. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting from a mascot, but I was expecting a younger person. But he was like an old man. <laughs> uh, and then I just I tried to take the goal the goal kick with the mascot's head on and obviously the Russ Smith was that way and none of it. Shanks have won in 16-11 the most remarkable match that you have in 06, won, won all three, won the Challenge Cup, uh, Grand Final and World Cup Challenge. You know what I mean? It's probably one of the best teams I've played in there since I went. Uh, I've working with a lot of rock stars in there. But I think Daniel Anderson, to manage that team, I think he was probably my best coach. I had some good success for my uh, country. And I've had some good success in the Challenge Cup as well. I've won five Challenge Cups, three Lance Togs and breaking the record, which held for so long. I think Martin Afai held it for two and Andy Gregory. And I got three, which was very fortunate for me. But you know, I've been very fortunate to play some 
good teams at St. Helens and won some decent trophies, so quite quite proud of my achievements.